Shalom family. This is the good mixed with the bad. Uh, this message goes very, very deep. The good mixed with the bad. We will see the good mixed with the bad in many, many different areas. Example, a few examples of the good mixed with the bad. Medicine. Our medicine. We have, you will find herbs in our medicine. And this, these herbs are good. They're healing for our bodies. This is good. And in the same capsule, this same pill, you will find chemicals. And the chemicals is bad. The good mixed with the bad. These chemicals is what gives off the side effects. So we, we, we have good mixed with the bad. We have good thoughts and we have bad thoughts constantly. You will have good thoughts and you will have bad thoughts. Good mixed with the bad. You lay down at night, your dreams. You have good dreams mixed with bad dreams. This goes on and on and on. How the good is mixed with the bad. We can could, we could do this all day, all night long, giving examples how the good is mixed with the bad. But the Most High want us to focus on his people, the righteous seed, the righteous seed being mixed with a wicked seed, the bad, the good mixed with the bad. He want us to focus on the good mixed with the bad, the good seed, his children mixed with the wicked seed, the enemy's children. And this is the good mixed with the bad. The first scripture, Luke 21. 20 through 24. How did the righteous seed get mixed with the bad? How did this happen? How did the good get mixed with the bad? But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then you know, then know that desolation is near. Let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. So they, they knew they had a word of prophecy, a word of something that's coming. And when you see this happen, flee. Our people were known to flee. Flee to the mountains. Let those who are in the midst of her depart. See, depart. Go out. Leave. And let not those who are in the country enter her. So if you outside, don't try to go to Jerusalem. See, right now we're outside. We're not supposed to be in there, that place. Don't be trying to run into her right now. Don't try to go, go there right now because she's ran by gooey. For these are the days of vengeance. This is the time for you to get kicked out of the land. This is supposed to happen. Curses are upon you that all things that are written may be fulfilled. The, the most high, they, they wrote about these things. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. For there will be great distress. We know no food, no water. This is what it boils down to. And this is what they had to deal with in 70 AD. No food, no water. And great distress in the land. And wrath upon this people. We don't know and understand when wrath is upon us. When we're being walked on, stepped on, no rights, being treated like worse than animals. Treated like insects. When we don't understand, that's wrath upon a people. And they will fall by the edge of the sword. Here they go. Being killed, murdered, and led, and led away captive in all nations. So this was a Kadar seed, the seed of Jerusalem, the seed of Yasharal, now going into all nations being mixed with a wicked seed, with a wicked group people in all over the earth in all lands in every country here here the people go and Jerusalem shall be trampled by Gui until the times of Gui are fulfilled and here Gui Gui trampling down Jerusalem trampling down the land the good mixed with the bad and he, the most, the, the, Yahusha warned us what about these things. Matthew 10, 16 through 18. He warned us.
that we would be, when we, when this happened, we're going to be mixed. We're going to be in the midst of wolves. He says, behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. The people, good seed being mixed with the wolves, the sheep being mixed with the wolves. This is the good mixed with the bad. He says, therefore, be wise. Now, our people, we're not wise. We're wise in our own eyes. But we have to wise up. We have to be smart. We have to be in our movement. The things we do, we have to be strategic. We have to be precise. We can't be found slipping. We can't slip outside of his word. We must be wise. And a lot of people are not operating in the wisdom of the Most High. But he told us, be wise. We have some people that are just simple. You're going too deep. We don't have to go that deep. We don't have to know this. We don't have to know that. You see, these are simple people. Don't be simple. Be wise. It's okay to be wise. Just don't lift your head up and think you got all the answers and you're better than everybody else and everybody's beneath you. This is the wrong mentality. Wise people will be humble. Wise people will say, in the state we're in, we don't know everything. And we must continue to learn. We must continue to learn from each other. And until we re a, reach a certain point, until that point, we have to do what we can to get every knowledge, every piece of wisdom of our Father. This is what wise, humble people, this is how wise, humble people think. And they don't think we're above everyone. We're the only ones with the answers. The others don't have the, we don't have this mentality. Although the Most High opened our eyes to see what is our answer for these days. We don't have the mentality, we are the only ones. We have the mentality, we want others to see the word for what it says. We want others to know the Most High and to be led and to follow him. So be wise as serpent and harmless as does. But beware of men. We don't understand this. We are not aware of men. We would share private and personal information about ourselves to strange men we don't even know. Be careful who you share your private, personal information with. Some things are to be kept in private. Beware of men. Men are the one. Men are the one that will be working for the enemy against us. And we freely give them our information. We freely make them work for it. If they're going to get information from us, make them work. Don't just give it to them. You know, it's something someone break into your house to steal. It's another thing for you to leave your door unlocked. And allow them to just come in and rob the place and leave and, and just here. You can have this. Oh, you missed this ring. I have a ring here in the drawer that I keep. You didn't know it. Here, take it. Make them work. Put locks on your door. Hide your most valuable prized possession and tell no one. Because we have to beware of men. These men will deliver you up to councils. And scored you in their, this says synagogue, but really in their assemblies. Here are your churches. Here are your camps. Here are your groups. Here are your communities. Where do you get scourged? Who is the one that's ruling over his people with force and cruelty? Who are the mean ones in these groups? Who are the ones that's threatening other people? Who are they? Who are these people? They will deliver you up to counsel. Who is these people you're going before for counseling for something you didn't even do? You will be brought before governors and kings for my sake as a testimony to them and to Gui. So we have the good mixed with the bad here. Matthew 13, 47 through 50. Again, the kingdom. The kingdom of the Most High is like a dragnet that was cast into the sea and gathered some of every kind. So this net is making an example of the kingdom. And we know the kingdom is people. He's going to take this net, throw it over the world, pull it, 
pull it, and there are the, the good mixed with the bad. This is what the comparison is saying. So what are you going to do with this net? The earth is captured. We're in the net. The earth is captured. And he's about, he's in the process of pulling up and pulling out the wicked. Which when it was full, they drew to shore and they sat down and gathered the good into the vessel. So you take the good from the net. They gathered the good, but threw away the bad. Here the good mixed with the bad in the net. So it will be at the end of the age. Now we're talking about the people. The Malachs will come forth, separate the wicked from among the just. But remember, before this, we have the good mixed with the bad. So here's a separation of the wicked from the just. A separation from the good mixed with the bad. And he's going to take the bad and cast them into the furnace of fire. Many of our people, many, just about, most of the, you, we don't understand this. Once again, we walk in wisdom when we realize the truth. The truth of the matter, this is a fact. Most people will be cast into the furnace of fire. Most people are wicked. And when you understand this, you will be you will beware of men and you wouldn't share your private information with strangers this is there will be wailing and gnashing of teeth we're seeing the good mixed with the bad here's the wheat and the tares we brought this out before the wheat and tares look alike i brought out the fact uh, uh, the wheat and the tares, how much they look alike. You can't tell one from the other. This is our people today. If you don't walk in this wisdom, you will be picking tares, thinking that's wheat because they look like twins. They look alike. And I noticed after I did that message, other people started do talking about how they look alike. And I'm glad they did that because people need to know it. It doesn't matter who started, where it came from. It has to be discussed that the wheat and the tares look alike. So what does that mean? In the churches, you can't tell the tares from the wheat. We were in these churches. The wheat was in these churches. The pastors didn't know who were the tares and who were the wheat. The camps, you would have the tares and wheat in the camps. And then the Most High began to pull the wheat out of the camps. And they didn't know who was the weak. Those camp leaders didn't know which one would be leaving this place, which one would not be a part of this, and begin to trust on the Most High and not this leadership. And there were those that left camps and trust on the Most High, whole with their whole hearts. It's 24. Another parable he put forth to them saying, the kingdom of heaven, it's like a man who sowed good seed in the field. Here is the good seed. Here are the good seeds the Most High wants you to understand. Here is, the, here is his people. Here are the righteous people. This man sowed good seed in the field. But while men slept, his enemy came. This is what we don't see. We don't see when the enemy creep, creeps in. We don't look at Shaul as the enemy. Most of us. When I say we don't, we as a whole. We don't look at Shaul as an enemy, but that's how you, when you sleep, the enemy creep in. He comes in and he comes in with a word and his word is tares. So this enemy comes in and so tares among the wheat and then went his way. Leave his word. He basically, he leave his word and the people live according to his word. So when he comes, so, so when the others, when, when, when this spring up, they understand what happened here. What happened? So we see, but when the grain has sprouted and produced a crop, then the tares also appear. What happened here? So the servants of the owner came and said to him, sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? Wasn't it good seed and not tares? Where did these tares come from? No one saw it coming. 